When we talk about the creation of a story, there is a lot of elements we need to consider and establish before we start even writing. And it's in that process that we forgot the first thing. What is a story? The definition says it's a way of communication with a dramatic code in it. The dramatic code is an artistic description of how a person embarks on a journey in which he changes or achieves something. So that means the story follows a trajectory of the character trying to achieve what he wants and all the events, actions, and conflicts he faces in the way. When a character has a desire, the story moves on its own. But now we need to decide the shape of that path. For that, we have these different types of stories, because there is more than just one. Imagine a building. Before we start the construction, we need to prepare the ground, decide what kind of foundation we are going to put. There are five different types of story. The big difference lies in the path they follow. Lineal are those that follow a straight line as her name points out. This story usually follows the trajectory of one main character, since the beginning to the end. This type is extremely common in the majority of movies. A snake. The story follows a path, but this one has curves in it. The character has an objective, but this one is not that important. The story is mostly about the different places he travels, or different characters he meets. This story is usually used in the TV shows. They follow a line through all the season, but we do not go in a straight line. We tend to move around. Spiral This story is quite singular. As the draw show, the spiral goes into the center meaning that the character usually goes over and over again into a particular event, situation, or memory, finding every time more information. A perfect example will be the episode 3 of the first season of Black Mirror, in which the character analyzes the same memory over and over again. Ramification There is a central line that is the main plot of the story, but this type has different paths coming from the central line. The main plot gives the opportunity for subplots. The ramification story is very complex. Usually, it is used in fantastic stories with multiple main characters. The perfect example will be Game of Thrones. The main line is the Iron Throne. And we see all these characters moving around in a big land having their own plots. And the final type is the explosive. This story has multiple ways that grow simultaneously. In a story, we cannot show so many elements to the audience, so these kind of stories don't exist. But it's possible to make the appearance of something happening simultaneously. Well, you have learned what is a story and the five different types. See you in the next one.